Good morning everybody. Um, I thought I'd just make a quick video because I'm nearly at the stage where I need to join these together. I didn't do a video the other day but I did say in my blog post um, about joining them how I changed my mind because initially when I made the video for this one I said I'd have to finish this bit before I added to it made it bigger because it, then it would be more difficult to get to the middle if I wanted to add something else but since then I've decided as I said in my blog last blog post I think that I'm going to do them separately and then join them when they're finished um, now I'm assuming these are finished I actually I need to do this here I've done some little tufts of thread let me just pull in the colours that I'm using for the embroidery on the silk velvet and I think I might like to extend that and do that more but I think that'll probably be near an edge so it'll be okay and it may be that as I'm working this I think oh I wish I'd done that to that other piece that's now attached in the middle if that makes sense but anyway regardless I'm ready to join these um, so I just thought I'd run you through that quickly um, right so I'm thinking I don't want to cover anything that's done. Now I've got this bit here sticking out. So what I was thinking was joining them there and removing this. Now this should just tear. Yeah. Right, and then pin it. So that would be the first two pieces joined. Um, now another thing to say I've got two pin pillows on the go one's got pins I use for paper and the other's got the pins I use for my fabric and the reason for that is if you're constantly pinning paper with your pins it's going to dull them make them less sharp so you need to be aware of that so I'm going to pin these together and then that also gives me an opportunity for more embellishment. When I was making wrapping cloths, well I still make wrapping cloths, but when I make a wrapping cloth I get very excited about the seams because it, it's just another opportunity for embellishment and I just love embellishing. Um, and the other thing to say is I'm really loving my bullion knots at the moment and well I always love them but the reason I ordered some new threads because I was running out of thread and I always use cotton abroad 16 for the white okay um but they sent me the wrong one they sent me 25 not 16 which is a lot thinner it's the same color but it's a very much thinner thread but for the purposes of this that's actually really good because it means I can actually do 40 wraps if I want to. So some of these are 40 wraps. Now they have been having a little tendency to twist on themselves and go into like figure of eights. But I don't even mind that. Um, to me it just adds to the uniqueness of the piece. And it's not a piece where everything has to be precise and exact. So that doesn't bother me. So what I thought I would do this morning, I've pinned that now, and then the next stage of this will be to make, put another piece together to add to this and keep doing that until it's grown big enough. Um, so I'm gonna do a bullion knot with you, a 40 wrap bullion knot. I'll count it to myself in my head. Um, I won't count it out loud. So bear with me, you can count silently with me. I'm actually going to start here, I think. I'll start here just because it's a bit thicker. And even though I do have to do the other areas where it's not as thick, I don't want to have to... I don't want to run into any little snags um, with this demonstration one. So down at A, up at A, down at B, come back up at A, and then wrap it 40 times. Okay. Right, so that's 40. Now I could do more, but I found, I have done more on here. I found that they're more likely to go in a figure of eight if I do more. They become more unruly. So then you just pull it through. And you go back down at B. And then you come up ready for your next one. 
So I'll be coming up over here, ready for my next one. Up at A and down at B. Okay, and get that ready for the next one. Now the other thing, I made some little paper buttons. Um, so wrapping the ring with fabric like I did here, okay, I thought I'd do it with paper. With, and not just paper, but paper that I've stitched to alter it, like all these are altered by being stitched on before I've used them. And I'm going to have them that way up, okay? Now, I'm not putting any of these on at the minute, but they're a nice little relaxing thing to do last night. Um, so they will look nice dotted about this piece when it's finished. So I've got five at the moment, but it is just stitch paper that I've wrapped around a curtain ring. Um, so I'm really pleased with them. So that's me with a quick hello. Um, I don't think, so this piece, obviously I'm not going to throw that away, I'm going to keep that, that'll come in. But I'm really loving how this is developing. Don't ask me what I'm going to do with it, but that's never an issue for me. It doesn't matter what I'm going to do with it, I don't care. As long as I've got it, having it, working on it, then actually having it is the, the be all and end all for me, I guess. I've been doing some coloured embroidery on the silk velvet some French knots and some little lazy daisy stitches. It's quite subtle, so you probably can't make that out. Let me pull in. Um, here, the lazy daisies are not very visible, but that's the colour combo. So, so yeah, so it's all going swimmingly and we're having a great time. I hope you're, <coughs> you're all okay. Uh, and that's what I'm up to.